If you guys have ever taken a picture and part of it is overexposed and part of it is underexposed, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix all of that in Lightroom and Photoshop. Cause it happens all the time. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer. Check out my Flurn shirt. Isn't it cool? Yeah, it's the coolest. <laughs> Today I'm gonna show you guys how to fix an image um, if your sh shadows are a little underexposed and your highlights are overexposed. And um, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm shooting outdoors or when I don't have a lot of control over my lighting, uh, this kind of thing happens to me a lot. And um, I'm gonna show you guys what I do about it. And then I want you guys to say, like, what do you do about it? If part of your image is overexposed or underexposed, how do you handle that? Like either in the camera or do you do it in like Photoshop, things like that? Let me know and um, that way we can all get better. So we're basically gonna make three different uh, uh, exposures, one darker, one middle, and one up above lighter. <laughs> I can't talk. Um, we're gonna make all three exposures and we're gonna do so in Lightroom. It's gonna be kind of like a fake HDR and then I'm gonna combine them in Photoshop. All right, so I'm gonna grab my pen and uh, we're gonna look at our image for today. So this is our image. Um, we have, it's a really nice image. Let's just zoom into about half. Um, it's a little bit out of focus because this was shot with a 50 millimeter 1.4 But you can see the um, the highlights here are overexposed and then the shadows are just a little bit underexposed I'm gonna make sure we're brought it back to re import. I messed around a little bit and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that Okay, so what we're gonna do I'm gonna right click here and I'm gonna go to create virtual copy There we go. So that just makes another one. It's the same exact thing just a virtual copy and then I'm gonna do that again so with this one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this exposure slider and drag it down. There we go. And I'm going to use this to expose for the face and other details like that. Then I'm going to take this other one and I'm going to drag this up. And I'm going to use this for some of the dark areas. So you can do this either manually through an HDR. Or sorry, you can do this like with the HDR effect or you can do it manually. So I'm going to shift click the three of those now. Right click and say edit in and then open as layers in Photoshop and it's gonna put them all three together. I don't have to worry about aligning or anything like that because they're the same image and uh, everything's gonna do this for me. So from now, what I can choose to do is I can choose to do this manually, just like go in literally and paint on the layer masks or you can use some other cool tools to help with your selections. All right, and you can see it's kinda of thinking its way through combining those. It says some were skipped because they're not compatible in bridge. I'm not sure what happened there, but it's not a big deal. Shift click and drag, and then now we have them all. All right, cool. So we have all three of our files and we're ready to bring them back together again. So here, let's start off with our, this is our properly exposed image. So let's go ahead and bring that all the way down. Now we have a little bit of an underexposed part. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna make that visible. I'm gonna put a black layer mask. So to do that, hold down Alt or Option and click on your layer mask. And then I'm just gonna paint white on my layer mask and um, make a nice soft brush. And I'm gonna bring my flow down to about 20%. There we go. And literally I'm just painting away the areas that I feel are a little bit overexposed. So I'm painting in uh, what I think is the correct exposure anyway. Um, and this is, I would say, probably one of the more um, crude methods to do it, but it's, it's probably the easiest. You just kind of like paint away where you think it's too bright, and um, there we go. You can kind of fix your exposure really easily using this method. And this is what a lot of photographers do. And uh, you could even, because this does darken everything down a little bit, even if you did want to do some like kind of dodging and burning, you can do that too. Like I'm going to darken that area. A little bit and that's going to help draw attention to our subject a little bit more all right very cool so we can see i basically just brought in the other exposure and that's going to fix what's going on with uh, the hair i'm going to go ahead and put a little bit over the hair and things like that generally you want um you can see how the transition it's not like a really sharp transition because you are changing exposure here so you don't want like a dark face and then like bright hair right behind it that probably won't look that good so there we go fixing that exposure and then we're going to do the same thing with our shadows let's say you want some more detail in your shadows let's bring our shadows up above there i'm going to put a black layer mask on that alter option click on there and then we're going to paint white on our layer mask and then i can just go in here and brighten our shadows as um we feel necessary, fit. You can add highlights to hair and you can get all kinds of creative. 
That's why I love Photoshop, because you can do anything you want to. I'm gonna shift click here and see if there are any other dark areas that I want a little bit brighter, maybe just here around the face. Now, if you do come to an area where you'd like to uh, maybe lighten this brick right over here, but you don't want to lighten her face, you can see like if I just start painting in here with my white, it's gonna lighten the brick, but not her face. It's really easy. All you have to do is go to like your magic wand tool. You can see this is a fairly dark area and I'll just click there and it's gonna select the area that's a little bit darker. And now I'll just go in with my brush tool. I'm gonna hit Command H, that just hides my selection so you can't see it anymore, but it's still selected. And now I can just paint white and it'll lighten that brick up, but it's gonna stop when it gets to her face because that's, um, that's where my selection is. So a really quick way to just make a quick selection and then you don't have to worry about editing right over a person's face. All right, let's make see the before and the after with that, lightening up the shadows. Maybe I'll just lower that opacity a little bit more. Okay, and what sometimes you can do, you can see that I'm holding Alt or Option and clicking right here on this little guy because I'm trying to figure out, you know, if I'm getting everywhere even. Like the face I want to be completely even and it looked like, it looked like that a second ago, like it was too bright there. So, and I saw that just by clicking on here, you can see it's like, it doesn't look like everything else around it. So there we go. By filling that in, it should fix the exposure on the chin as well. Very cool. So this is our before. You can see it's a bit overexposed in the highlights and underexposed in the shadows. And there's after we fixed all that. And now you're ready to start editing your image. So the reason this happens guys is because the cameras just can't, in, they just can't capture that much information. They have like a given amount of information they can capture and anything on either side is just going to look too bright or too dark. So this is a great way to fix that. You just kind of have to do it a little bit manually. So this is how I would do it. If you guys have any other tips on fixing your exposure either in the camera or out of the camera, let me know and then we'll share it together and it'll be fun. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching Florin guys. This is it. The episode's done. I'm out. Peace out of there. I'm gonna peace out. Peace out. You're just jealous because I've been chatting with hot babes online all day. I love technology. <laughs> but not as much as you, you see. Always and forever.